so last night it was about 2 30 in the morning and we we were all wearing good gear but we were cold and uh wet and absolutely wore out our eyeballs were all doing funny things and everybody we'd stop and everybody'd say i'm falling asleep i'm falling off the machine and so we knew where there was a a cabin so we all headed down the lake to the cabin and uh when we got there the 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 canadian rangers were there so there was about 18 of us in a 10 by 10 shed and a, wood, a little wood stove and it was about a million degrees in there and so we all got in there and jason there he was asleep in about three seconds and we all started falling asleep and and literally we were laying everywhere we could i was we were laid, laying all over the floor i supposedly i woke up and i was using uh uh joshim Nui's butt for a pillow <laughs> so we 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 slept there till about seven six thirty seven o'clock woke up had some tea and some water and and then uh off off we went hitting postville meant racers had successfully completed 1900 kilometers of the challenge and were just past the halfway point Checking in with the command center, it was easy to see that race officials were being kept busy. This race has been uh, very exciting to say the least. Uh, we've had some uh, minor glitches along the way, but everything is sort of sorted out. Uh, one of the things there, like a lot of the racers were missing the checkpoints and having to backtrack 30, 40 kilometers, but uh, seems like they're getting it all in control and uh, right now the race is looking excellent. The race to checkpoints 12, 13, and 14 through the Nunatsavik villages of Makovic, Hopedale, and Natwashish saw Team 38 rocking through with a huge lead and other teams fighting the weather and fatigue as they opted to take some of their layover time at various places on the north coast. Strategy seemed to be boiled down to, let's sleep if we want to, otherwise keep it going. Unfortunately for Mark Nui of Team 29, a crowd favorite and super nice guy, some nasty luck would end his race and then some. And I hit a patch of ice or icy surface and there was a, there was a, there was a bump there. And uh, I was, before I hit the bump, I was, I was turning my, the rear end of my, uh, my skidoo was, uh, was uh, to the right and I was able to control it by the time I hit the bump. And, and then I hit the second bump. I, the, the front end um, landed first, and as a result, snapped back to the rear end, and that's where it tossed me. And, uh, and I, uh, I uh, know I was tossed, uh, I don't know, about 20 feet away, and then uh, the skitters come rolling over me and uh, onto my body. And, and how I broke my foot, uh, I don't know. And I was knocked out for, um, for about uh, an hour, and uh, I was told I was walking around where where, the, where my snowmobile was, and then I don't re really remember what happened. I was already at uh, at the local clinic in uh, in Makubik, and uh, by the time I was uh, starting to come around from from, I was asked questions, and I would I was asked if I was going to continue, and and. And obviously, I said yes. <laughs> and then, and then there, I had no idea I had a broken leg or a foot, and had some scratches all over. It. But uh, by the time, like I said, like by, by the time I was uh, I was uh, gaining some sense in, into me, I, I, would, uh, I, I was asked if I should continue. I said yes, and uh, my partner said we're not going. And Perry Dyson, a friend of mine out of Makovic, wait till next race. So. So I, I, I took that and I said, uh, okay, we won't go. Yeah, so I'm going to take time to heal and uh, uh, I'm definitely going back in 2016.